What's up everybody, RetroPie Guy here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to update RetroPie on your Raspberry Pi system. First thing that we're going to do is obviously boot up our Raspberry Pi. You're going to come to this screen after everything's been fully booted. Um, it's going to look different if you have a different theme, but you're going to go into your RetroPie settings. So that's usually your landing page after everything's booted up. It looks something like this. Um, or if you have a different theme, it'll have the um, usually the Raspberry Pi computer or something to that effect, but it's always going to be your RetroPie settings configuration here. So we'll jump in here and we are going to go down to RetroPie setup. Let this load for a second. And you do need to be connected to your Wi Fi. Um, so if you haven't done that and you aren't sure how, uh, definitely go over to our YouTube channel here. We'll have a video tutorial on how to connect to the Wi-Fi. So assuming you already have Wi-Fi, you are actually going to go down to update here, which is your second option down. It'll say, are you sure you want to update installed packages? We'll go ahead and select yes. Now you're going to go through the update process here. So it is going to take a little while. And it's going to say here, fetch the latest uh, version of RetroPy setup script. Go ahead and select OK. Now, depending on the size of your um, collection card, it could take anywhere from a few minutes to, I'd say about 45 minutes or so. So you just want to sit back and let this fully update here. And then it'll give you these messages here. You can just go ahead and select OK. Would you like to update the underlying OS packages? Yes. So once our upload completes, We'll actually select OK, and then we'll go and reboot our system. All right, so now that we've fully rebooted our system, we can go back into our RetroPie configuration settings here. It just verified that this in fact has updated. So if we go down to the RetroPie setup, we'll see in the um, top left corner of this box here, you'll see the version 4.7.1. That's the most recent update, at least at the time of this video. Um, so we know that that's fully updated and everything worked out. So I definitely recommend if you've purchased cards from us in the past, maybe prior to this most recent update or you know, maybe if you're watching this video later on down the line and you just um, are realizing that your current version is a previous update, definitely want to go in here and just update your system. Just make sure that everything runs super smooth. Um, and if you're not up to date on everything that's coming out from um, RetroPie here, it doesn't hurt to just go in here and update, you know, once every couple months just to make sure that your system is fully updated at all times. Um, that's pretty much it for today. I just wanted to walk through that process. We've been getting a lot of questions on how to update from our past customers that have purchased from us prior to this newest version coming out. So if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for future tutorials, uh, gameplay demos, a lot of cool stuff that we're doing on here. And of course, check us out online at www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.